right. For, following the lack of videos for about a week, I'm going to tell you the reason why is the lack of videos. I was doing a video with this, the review, obviously. Um, and I'll probably do it now as I've got the box. Um, anyway, this is going to be a review and a tip on how to look at this gun. Um, and if you're going to do a review, if you're planning on doing a review, as these only just been made. Now, this is a cross between an M9, a Beretta M9, and, a, and a, the 1911, as it says, M945, as the 1911 is 45 cal, and the 9 is 9mm. Anyway, it's a cross breed between them, as you can see, it's got the, if you look at that, the, the actual, oh shit, my zoom fell out, anyway, I don't know why. Um, so, you, sort of like a cross breed between the M9 and the 1911, it's got the M9 frame, and these 1911 style uh, slide. Now, it holds 18 rounds, uh, it's quite a nice magazine. Um, to take, take the slide down, you push that button in, flip that down, um, and this should come, oh no, push that off, pull that off, and slide that off. I just get mixed up, as you know, then I have to pull it out. And there you go, you got all the construction, it's about 80, not 85, 90% plastic. It's got a metal in a barrel, as you can see, just there shining up. Spring, um, metal here, which is the basically the spring part with the spring, the, uh, the firing pin or whatever, and the spring here. Um, and metal hammer with actual that's met the actual metal hammer and the metal component here, which goes deep in down to here. So, oh yeah, and the there's a metal trigger. Uh, metal, I think that's metal safety. I think actually no. Um, I think it's plastic, the safety, even though it's supposed to be a slide, a slide lock, um, on this gun it's a safety, the slide's metal, um, and to put the slide back on you line that up with that here, and then you line that up, and then as it gets there you click it, as you can see there's a fully, fully hole through here, you just push that through, um, and push the other button on the other side, uh, sort of, wriggle it around a little bit, it's a little bit fiddly and eventually you'll do it. Um, if you pull it back, the, that will lock, the hammer will lock back and um, yeah if you've done that and, the, and the, the actual slide pin thing which takes it off, if that's not in, put it in and lock it up, don't shoot it otherwise it will fly off and probably break. Now this is what I did in the video, I lowered it down like you can do with a normal gun and there you go, Didn't, I didn't you just saw that, I'll try and do it again. Push the trigger, lower it down. See? Try and do this again. There you go, look. Now, because I've ordered this, it will slide easier now. But when I first got it, it stayed there, and then like that. Now, as you can imagine, I was doing that. Because it, it obviously I've, I just sprayed um, maintenance oil on it. Don't use maintenance oil on a gas-operated gun, as um, it'll break them. It'll break them. And um, just use uh, silicone oil on gas-operated gun, which I've got over there. So as you can tell, it was it was there and it was moving out slowly. And as I turned the gun to put it on the floor, bang! <laughs> hit the screen. I was like, oh my god! It hit the screen. I turned the computer. I turned the I turned, I, I clicked off the video straight away to, to you know to stop it from doing from recording. Um, so that I'm just giving you that warning because that's fucked up and you know I didn't think it would happen. But now I've got to know the gun. It's safe. Just it's safe with the knowledge. You know this is a new type of gun. You know the, the guns don't usually uh, rely on a hammer um, because you can. I did have a 1911, which I've done a review, the M21. Now you can shoot that, and you can hold the hammer, and the hammer doesn't do anything. It's just you can keep pulling it back, and clicking it, and um, you can see. Yeah, you could do that all day, but it doesn't really do anything unless you pull the hammer back. Pull it back. Um, yeah, the the release is um, metal, grips are metal, slides are metal, the inner workings are metal, but the frame is plastic. The hammer's metal and the internal hammer's metal. Um, the inner barrel of metal, as you can see. 
um, metal weight in there, the plas this plastic magazine. So it's a nice mixture of uh, metal and plastic. This is metal here, and you can see that's how it works. That basically is to make the trigger go forward again. Obviously, otherwise it would just pull back, it would stay back, and you have to pry it forward. And um, I undo that. I undid these to spray spray them, so I might because I thought I might spray it. I took it off, and the spring for that went flying over across the room. I had to go find it and pick it up and put it back in again. And then, as I was trying to find it, I found it, put it on the floor, picked the gun up. The magazine release fell out. The whole magazine release with the spring. So I had to put that back in and put it all back in. So I know how it works. And the internal hammer fell out as well. So I had to push that back in and you know secure it. So it's a fiddly gun. Um, I wouldn't recommend it as a starter gun at all. A starter gun, you want a basic pull back and fire with a you know a, a, a hammer that doesn't actually work. That's because it's just not reliable for a hammer when you're. When you like first started this gun, when you, you first started, you know, airsoft, um, and yeah, um, the reason why I picked this up is um, it reminds me of the um, 909 from Resident Evil 6. Now, you might not see it on here very well because of the camera quality is not as good as my phone, but the slide it does the slide and the, the actual uh, frame is like from it. Which is how they've created it. They've created it like the M9, but they didn't do it exactly like the M9. Um, but it's it's a nice gun, but it's not a lot of power to it. As you know, it's quite a lot of power, but it's not. It's sort of both. It's like it ranges sometimes. It sometimes goes through a box, sometimes doesn't. The sights aren't very accurate. I'm just gonna put it like this and then show you it's loaded on it. Uh, it's unloaded. I mean, so I know it's not gonna shoot anything. Sorry, my top spread. Not really show you, but there you go. Not very accurate sights, but point and shoot really. Point and shoot, easy to do. Um, how I'm using this at the moment, the screen, I've plugged my HDMI cable into the computer and it's gone to the screen. So I'm looking at the screen, my TV screen. So, yeah, I learned a, I've learned a cool thing about this as well, which is, I don't, I don't know if they made this deliberately. If you hold the trigger down, right, don't, right, load the full magazine, don't put it back or anything. Put it in the gun, aim at the target, turn it sideways, pull the trigger in, and just keep pulling it back and let go. Make sure you let go each time you pull back, and you can fire like a machine gun. But I, I, I push it forward again, so it's easier. But you can... So it, you probably can't hear it very well, it just sounds like bang, bang, bang each time, even though I'm pulling it back. So it's... See? Or, so, and it, it does work, I'm telling you, I loaded a full magazine, I um, opened my gad, dad's gar, garage door, just went like, bang, 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 like really fast, so I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't even see myself moving, it was so fast, and like, I couldn't even see, I, I mean, I couldn't even see the gun moving very much, because I, like, it just looked like that constantly, and um, like the gun was just, it just looked like that. And um, the bullets were just spraying out of the gun. They weren't. They weren't. They were keeping it at a good range. They weren't like falling out either. Constant range. Um, so that that is good. I'm, I don't know if they made it deliberately, but it it worked. So, but I don't really recommend it that much because you know you could break your gun after a while. The amount of stress you're causing on it. But try it once. Yeah, it won't do no harm. I've only done it once anyway. But yeah, um, because it's metal. Also, bang it against surfaces. Eventually, will make the plastic wear. Well, not plastic. I'm saying plastic. The paint wear off the metal. You can see a little bit. Hard to see, but on the edge of there. Um, on the hammer as well, where right, right, so we keep hitting it. Um, but yeah. Um, if you want to know what wears like, buy a Samurai Edge airsoft gun, which I've got, and use it like. On and off for a few days, like like there you get it. Shoot it loads, um, you know, like mess around with it a little bit, and you know, look at it and play with it a little bit, and then put it away. Next morning, do that and keep like playing with it and using it, and lubricating it, and eventually the like it doesn't. I don't know. They didn't they didn't use the paint properly. The paint just wears off it. Like you could scratch it with a little bit with your hand and come off. 
they didn't they didn't use it properly anyway. So it's a nice gun. It's I've got big hands and it fits perfectly. There's like a little bit extra room, so that's good. Nice big trigger. You know you could you, know, you could easily you know hold it hold it properly. You know whatever you want to hold it like, but holding it like this looks stupid. It looks wrong anyway. Hold it like this. Like put your thumb over that hand, thumb like that. So hold it like that. Cup your hand around it. Put your thumb over there like that. So it's keep it tight, and that's a good grip. Now if you stand up, you want to lean forward a little bit so you handle the recoil of it going back. Like that, a real gun or whatever. But yeah, so. The gun works very well. I mean, I I would recommend like um, cleaning and lubricating your gun. Um, now, as you notice, sometimes this happens once you like push it and then you take out this. What you want to do is push it back in again, so the spring is in there and that sticks that comes out a little bit. Now the spring is a little bit bent because you sort of want to take off the slide first so it lines in there like that. Um, and yeah, so I'll show you what you do is you spray a little bit of oil on it and you like you rub the parts where the slide rubs against it because it's you know metal against plastic so it'll wear the plastic off. So you want it to glide along it and you pull it back. Uh, lubricate the spring in the magazine like doing that, push it in the top of the magazine like that, put it in sideways, push it up and then um, if you want to be more specific, uh, like properly do that and then uh, you could possibly do it like that better you can see it goes in so push it in, pull up, push down, you can't you can't push straight down because it's too thick so push it in, pull it up and then push down and you can clean it and you can see black is coming off um, that's good now sorry it's just come out again quite annoying it didn't have a follower for the spring so it wouldn't fall out but this is what you want to do, you want to get this pull it down, pull it out a little bit and there you go, you've just took out the barrel a little bit and you can see it's pretty oily. You want to, you want to rub that oil off um, and you know get it in here and push it in around because there's like a it's like a little lock where you push when you pull the slide back and let it go, it pushes a BB in and there's like a little lock, so the BB stays there and doesn't roll out the barrel, and um, when you fire it, it pushes it out of the lock and shoots it out. Now if you put oil on that, the lock doesn't go, so the, the doesn't stay. So the BB will just fall out, so that's what you want to do, you just want to rub that oil off because there's too much oil on it otherwise. And there you go. Make sure you spray your springs, you, like if you get them wet or something in an airsoft battle, you know, you don't want to rust them out. So spray a little bit of oil on there, in here, in here, and then in the barrel obviously, and then, you know, push these in the barrel like that. Clean them, as you can see it's all black, that's, that's a good thing, like that. It means that the gun's getting clean. So there you go. Slide on easier then because of the oil. There you go. Um, and you want to do that with most of your BB guns. There's each each one is different. That's what I mean. Uh, I never used one of these ones before, so. This fluke that it actually hit my screen because it was, you know, almost. It could have almost. It could have missed the screen. Um, wish it did miss my screen really. So there's not much I can do. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, it's a nice gun. Just be careful with it. I mean, I know all these rules, but the, that rule didn't. Uh, that didn't affect it. I mean, I was, you know, I didn't. I've no. I didn't put. I didn't point out my face in the review. I didn't, you know. Point it, shoot it. I actually had my finger off the trigger while I lowered the hammer and put, went to put it on the floor. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind. You'll know if you if you have it now with you and you're watching the review, so you know more about it. 
because I didn't know about the slide thing until I looked at the review. Try it now, right? Pull the slide back and let go. Don't put any BBs in it because you might shoot someone back, right? So if you've put if you've put BBs in it now, you've loaded it. Put it on the ground and pull the trigger, right? So it will hit the ground and it won't bounce off. So you want to put it face down on the ground like that, straight on it. Take the magazine out, pull it back, right? Hold the hammer, um, push the trigger in, and lower the hammer down softly so it reaches that mark where you can't feel it pulling on it anymore, and let go. Now it might do that, or it might not do it. The first few times it didn't do it, and then it obviously did that time. Um, I mean, like the first time I tried that, it shot, and then after I tried it again, it wouldn't do it. Now it's did it again. So, and you'll see, and then we, if he doesn't do it, just push it with your thumb and it will shoot. Um, made in China, obviously, hop-up system, one-to-one one, one one scale, assembled metal plastic, model air, soft gun. Um, best rating, years above, um, uh, UG, UG uh, Toys, Combat Force. Now, as you know, um, it always says on guns, if it has it somewhere on here, so I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, it did say it somewhere. I don't know where it says it did, but I remember having it. There is it somewhere. Um, anyway, it'll look like that in there. Um, a company, most companies will write on their boxes, uh, we're not responsible for the damage caused, so I can't do anything about it. The shop I, could, I bought it from wouldn't do anything either because. I'm the one with the gun, so I could easily lied and get them to pay up. So it's no point. They won't. I won't win because it's it's something that you can't you can't win over. It's different. It's hard to explain, but um, anyway, it's an alright gun. Uh, it's up to you if you want to buy it. I mean, I'm not forcing you to buy it, obviously, but it's just my opinion on the gun. My experience with the gun, so you can't do it. So you've learned from my experience, so it won't happen to you, as I've learned from other things people have done to guns, and I've not done it, so I won't get hurt, basically. So learn, learn from my mistake. Um, everyone makes mistakes. It's part of life and whatever. But there you go. Uh, I'll just show you the sights, fixed sights. You can't move them. So just learn from my mistake. Don't do it. If you've done it already, then you'll know what it's like. It's so annoying. There are a few people online now with these guns. Just be careful. Um, I'm usually careful with BB guns anyway. You know, it's just that time. I, I was careful with it. That's the trouble. I I thought it would deactivate it. Because um, I bought one before, a gas one. For like a cheap gas one. And if you lower the hammer, it deactivates the gun. So, you know, in real guns, you, most of them, you can deactivate... You can deactivate the gun by doing that. So, uh, yeah, I can't really say anything else really. Um, apart from, don't try it. Uh, if you are going to try it, do it in a safe area where it won't bounce off and hit something. And yeah, learn from my mistakes. I'm not going to upload a video of it um, of it hitting the screen as you might laugh, and I don't really want you to laugh as it's my screen and it, you know it pissed me off. I'm going to upload this video now, thanks for watching, subscribe, share it to your friends, check out my other videos if you're bored, uh, you know, you're waiting for more videos to be uploaded, go back to my older videos, I've uploaded like 150 something videos now, just go back and look at my older videos, I'm pretty sure you haven't watched all of them, and if you have, just watch one of the really older ones so you don't really remember them that much, I mean, you know, so many videos I watch from other people, I just go back to their other videos if they don't make videos, like, even though I've watched them a few times, I usually, after I've watched a lot of their videos, go right back to the one of the first ones, it's, you know, you don't really remember it that much. So just do that with me, and uh, subscribe, keep subscribing, I've got a lot more subscribers now. Uh, 55, 55 subscribers now, as I, when I, I remember a few, I think it was a month or two back, I had 47. So it's a big jump, uh, welcome to the new subscribers, sorry I haven't been uploading videos lately. I'll try and upload more videos, but I don't really want to slow my internet down by uploading videos, so I'll space them out, but just enjoy my videos as much as you can. Check out some other people on YouTube, like DC, Xanga Grandpa, uh, Kid Behind the Camera, 
uh, Armory Channel. Can't really think of much more. Um, D Sigs. Uh, I was going to say Hitchcock for. Uh, Hitchcock 45 but he blocked me for no reason I was just stating my opinion about something and um, he he basically said yeah and then blocked me so I don't know why he would block me for just stating my opinion but oh well it doesn't matter now you know I did I did what I did and I didn't really try and annoy Hitchcock 45 I was just talking I love his videos and just you know just don't bother looking at his videos because he's he's to me, I thought he was a nice person, but after his reply, he's a dick. I'm not even joking. He is. He has those nice videos. Does nice videos though, and I did enjoy him. So, don't check out Hitchcock 45 if you haven't already. He's a dick. I wouldn't even bother commenting on his videos if you do watch him because he just argues and shit. So, there you go. Subscribe. Check out them people. And yeah, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.